of light tanks now. I think I'm going to have to start producing light tanks again. Which is something I kind of wanted to avoid doing. That's a lot of boats. Um... Oh, you guys don't even have an order. Um, let's just be honest. We're going for Madrid. Attention. Attention. Okay, you lot have arrived. Staff office plan. Your job's going to be Barcelona. Keep the armoured divisions going here in the middle. Attention. Go for the central line. Problem is, I'm going to have to back off to the Pyrenees if Germany starts rattling too many sabres. German troops have crossed into Bohemia and Moravia ostensibly to restore order to the regions in the wake of the collapsing Czechoslovakian government. In Prague, the occupying forces announced the creation of an autonomous protectorate within the German Reich. With German support, Slovakia has been declared independent under the leadership of Josef Tiso. The nation of Czechoslovakia is no more. And we are running out of time here. The situation is becoming Bonjour. most serious. Gardez-vous. Zog submits to Italy. An ultimatum has been delivered to the Albanian government by the Italian diplomats, demanding that they submit to complete military occupation. King Zog has abdicated after realising the futility of resistance, and Albania will now be ruled in a personal union under King Victor Emmanuel III. Italy looks to the Balkans. Right, we are going to attack. All go. We're using our Maginot ability. We're using our massive 62% war preparation, military planning preparation even. Even without Grand Battle Plan, it's only going to go higher. What is Germany's national focus now? I doubt I can see. Molotov, Ribbentrop. So they're working their way on it. They've already taken Memel. Yeah, they're getting close. Paris. I mean, we're going to have enough troops to man Maginot. We're not going to have enough to do the, the Alps. I mean, we'll have to reposition some. You guys are just holding out here. That's fine. It's all I really need you to do. But how on earth did the Italian volunteers get down here? Écoutez. And you're all the way over there. I think I'm going to get you to join Hunsinger. Do we have a field marshal for you? We don't. See, so the other problem... <laughs> which I've just realised never actually rectified itself. We lost some of our best generals. Like uh, Tassini. Jean de Tassini. Gone. Because he was on the uh, communist side. Giving Spain military access was not the right decision. They just left all of the land that they had. Yeah, I know. To take control of this land, which is way less important than this. Like, this is their heartland. And it kind of looks like our uh, counter-attack is wibbled already. Okay, so we can get another 
person. Marita Castaner is a seducer and a demolitions expert. So just the fact that you start with two traits makes me want to recruit you. Because you have the seducer abilities, which is the infiltration effectiveness. And then demolitions means that you can actually do the demolition missions with greater efficiency. Although, again, you're French. We're not getting anyone who's German. Which is particularly annoying. How's your intel? Let's get you doing an intel network down in Hessen. And do we have any operations available yet? Rescue captured operative is at 30. So in fact, let's have you supporting the mission in Brandenburg so we can get that intel up faster. And hopefully that's going to be enough to do what we need to do. Gumo, thank you very much for the donation. Very much appreciate that. Vive la France. Oh, crikey, I missed a bunch of things. I'm really sorry. Ozzy gave some bits earlier. Thanks for the great content money spent on the games you recommend. Thank you. Laser Ninja Studios, Honey Scope, and Heliga Galga Apan. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Time for a white piece. This is hard to find. Peace doesn't really exist. They're still working on Molotov Ribbentrop. We will have time to move troops over to the border. It's just going to mean basically giving up on Spain and then just fortifying the Pyrenees. Attention. Yeah, see, the attack up here has faltered already. Well, sod. Hunting has been wounded. Because of course he has. Bring in Friedenberg. So we've effectively brought Spain into the Second World War with no real reason and no real benefit to us. Intervening in a civil war would be easy, every superpower ever. Yeah, Nationalist Spain put up a hell of a better fight than I expected. I mean, not helped by the stupidity of the Republicans, admittedly. And it was some really stupid moves. You are so close to capitulation, it's ridiculous. And also you've lost all of your manpower provinces. Because Bilbao is a tiny core area. I'm going to stop my lend lease to you because it's not really worth anything. Because now I'm just going to be giving guns to the uh, nationalists. Uh, 39. Oh, yes, new guns are available. Let's research that. At least once we've gone with Britain, Britain should start moving troops over to assist us. Yep, the Nationalists would have been neutral. I was kind of hoping that we could get the Republicans on our side, but it was not worth the cost. France and Britain announced the alliance, calling upon the bonds forged during the Great War. France has requested a formal alliance with Britain, citing unspecified threats against the stability of Europe. Today, the request was approved by the British Parliament, and France has joined the Allies. History has shown how much can be accomplished when our great nations stand side by side. In the spirit of the Entente Cordiale, we are proud to welcome you not only as friends, but as allies. Together, we shall be a shining beacon of liberty in a world encroached upon by a darkness of oppression. Our request to Britain as... 
to join Britain as the Allies has been accepted. We can count on their full support in the turbulent times ahead. Now the question is, do I want to call them into this war? I'm not so sure that I do. In times like these, it is best to strengthen our defences. If there are threats, let them come to us so that we can deal with them on our own land. We have a perfect candidate to lead our army. All we need now is your word. Attention. Okay, we're not actually going anyone. Bring you into this army, cancel your current orders, and we're just going to put you on freaking Maginot. Still doing Molotov. Oh god, do I want to put Huntinger in charge of the- no, no, no. There is no way I'm putting Huntinger in charge of the Maginot. I know too much about history to do that. Do you guys- oh, bugger. I just wasted power with you guys not actually gaining anything for it. That was annoying. Let's do that again. I don't think they answered. They refused. Have they done the Pact of Steel? They haven't, so Italy isn't actually in the Axis yet. Wait, was that what they were doing though? Damn it! I just can't Hello. win. I'm going to need to move the uh, Alpine troops away. Alright, attack. That unit is super freaking weak. Let's see if we can hit him. And Britain is actually defending Gibraltar, thankfully. Attention! Your orders seem to have finished already as well. Carry on. We're grinding them down, and it really is grinding. Do we have spare aircraft? We probably do. Uh, yes. Let's bring another 100 air wing. Okay. Do what you gotta do. Still doing Molotov ribbon. Oh, here we go. Now we can try to rescue the captured operative. So we're going to prepare this operation. We're going to send. Uh, let's send Jeannie Rousseau, because this is against the Germans and she is a linguist. I would very much like to acquire German nationality. I'm just going to trigger comment when ready. So she will need to gather up 200 guns, which will produce in no time. We're producing quite a few. And then just do it. And off you go. 35 days of preparation, and then the mission will be launched. That's a pocket killed. And the attack on Madrid has commenced in earnest, and here comes the armor divisions. I think I got too bogged down with all the cutoffs and things going on up here in the north. I wasn't playing to my strengths, which is my ridiculous planning preparation abilities. Escalator clause invoked in 30 days, that's fine. Attention. Fortunately, they are still really heavily guarding this northern region. 
But that's fine. You guys are just holding them up. Still doing Molotov. Are they really just doing Molotov? I'm not sure I trust that intel now. Italy pursues closer bonds with Germany. Italy and Germany have expressed many conflicting interests, particularly in Austria and the Balkans. This has not, however, prevented the country's foreign policies growing ever friendlier towards each other, and negotiations are underway for a pact that will protect common interests. If negotiations are successful, we could see an alliance that will be able to exert great influence in Central and Eastern Europe. Italy has joined the German Reich. The Axis have been formed, and we are out of manpower again. So I think the next thing that I spend political power on is going to have to be a manpower law. Molotov. No, the Brits have not joined. They're just on our line. Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. Diplomats from Germany and the Soviet Union concluded what observers are describing as a historic agreement today with the signing of the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. Named after the German Foreign Minister Joachim von Ribbentrop and his Soviet counterpart Vilishlev Molotov, this non-aggression pact stipulates that neither side will ally itself nor to aid an enemy of the other. Foreign diplomats warn that this treaty effectively gives Germany a free hand to wage war in Europe without having to fear Soviet intervention. Madrid fell. Good. I'm going to say, let's just keep pressing the advantage. Are they guarding up here at all? Nope, they're all going down to the uh, Spanish front. Try calling you again. Okay, so Spain is recovering a bit, getting some manpower back, getting some uh, industry back. And we are costing nationalist Spain industry. That is one weak German tank. And that's the other thing, is we are costing the Axis a lot of equipment and things like that in this attack. We are gaining a lot of army experience, which I'm not at the moment able to really use. Although, can we add AT to you yet? No. How are we doing for artillery? We're still a little bit short. We're very short and motorized. Alright, I think I'm going to tone down the amount of guns we're producing. In order to get more of each of those and more motorized. We need to get the efficiency up, but hey, it's a start. Concentrated industry is done, so that's all of those fuel refining finished. Let's get Field Hospital 2s, although we're not actually using them yet. I'm not going to have the motorized to do that anytime soon. Let's upgrade the artillery. Actually, oh, this isn't Kaiserreich where you can actually upgrade your equipment, is it? Okay, so the Spanish are launching an attack here in the north. We'll go and support you. Just to do some damage, I think. We're starting to see some success here. Unfortunately, it's going to be too little too late. Dunzika War. Damn. Attention! All right, the race on time is on. Where are their cores? Barcelona is going to be one. These are going to be their cores. This stuff is all Republican, and then this is their core. So what I really need to do is move the tanks over here. You guys are having absolutely zero success. Half of you are going to join that. I mean, Maginot with its level 10 forts, and also Britain's actually guarding here. Okay, so Maginot we can hold. The Alps we should be able to hold. 
And then if we can keep the attacks here going, that'll be very nice. Now the question is, will the Spanish join the Axis as soon as the war starts? Or will they stay separate? I don't know. I don't know. Alright, let's Hello. have you stop your attack. Let's prepare for another push and then we'll do it. More military factories. Right, what are we still short on? I think it's mostly motorized at this point. So let's put another one there. And then I think the rest are going to go on to guns again, just so we can get boots on the ground. Fortunately, we're using up all of our command power doing this. Not to mention our unit strength. Oops, not you. you. Oh, and you have no orders. Um, let's say here. Go. Now the question here is, are we going to have done enough damage to the Nationalists for the Republicans to win at this point? The short answer is, I have no idea. The Panay Incident. American and British gunboats were attacked by Japanese aircraft in separate actions today while evacuating Western civilians from the front lines in the war between Japan and China. Despite being clearly marked with an American vessel, the USS Panay was hit by two bombs and sunk, with three American and one Italian citizen killed and others wounded. In a separate attack on the HMS Ladybird, one British sailor was killed. Both the American and the British governments have issued strong protests. The incident highlights the increasing tension between the three foremost naval powers. I haven't even looked at this war. Alright, now. We completed the re Ah! S rescued! With a first attempt dashed by high waves, a second landing attempt the next day was met by success and delivered the team safely ashore. I just realised I never read the Operation Overview. Sorry. With the support of a small commando unit, our team was able to execute an ambush and recover our agent while being moved to a new location. The team escaped by crossing the border under the cover of night, utilising a local guide to help them find a way through the border defences. Okay, so we have all three agents available once more. So I'm going to say at this point, we are just going to double down on just researching and intelling the whole of Germany. In fact, I think I might move you to Italy. So we can get some information about that. Okay. Do we have a spy master? Yes. The UK is. Good. Carry on. Alright, what other operations do we have? We could actually try to infiltrate the German civilian administration. Or the army. I'm going to try and infiltrate the army. Agents will use diplomatic passports to enter the country and move around. We expect enemy counterintelligence to try and stall them, but this can be overcome with sufficient training. Our agents will identify a person in financial difficulties and offer a substantial sum to provide us with support. Funds will be made available from the Treasury. Our agents will lay low and blend into the population until they are ready for the next mission. Should an opportunity arise to exfiltrate by other means, they will take it. Um, so we want... Rousseau involved as a linguist. And then probably Kusselno, just to get you some more experience. And this will cost us four civilian factories in 15 days. Go ahead and prepare. Can you steal nuclear tech with spies? You can steal everything with spies. And yes, resistance mechanics will also be working against Japan, this is true. 
Pushbacks are finally having a bit of an impact. Unfortunately, Republican Spain's not really defending up here. Done, defensive focus. Now the race against time begins. Firepower kills a methodical battle. Firepower gives us faster production of artillery. And I do intend to use a lot of artillery, so I think we're going to do this and then levy en masse. Uh, this will give us the Hotchkiss armor bonus. Armor soft attack armor bonus infantry tank designer. I do like my infantry tanks too, and this also gives us special forces, which allows us to have more special forces. Land for construction speed, Alpine Fort, extension against Italy, and then extend Maginot. I think I'm going to go with the firepower kills, just because I want the just raw infantry ability. I'm not convinced <laughs> that we're going to have the industry for special forces or tanks. The lessons of the Great War were as simple as they were cruel. The days of men fighting one another over open sites are over. Today, killing is done on a mass scale with the most modern weapons at long range. Ah. Now we can get extensive conscription. My god, we're ex extensive already. Yeah, everything's fine. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Worker shortage worsened. Well, aren't we at full employment? No, we're not. So earlier we were actually at full employment. Apparently we're not anymore. The demands of the military have been allowed to overrule concerns about labour shortages. Many companies now report shortages in skilled workers that have started to affect production output. Easing up our conscription laws would allow people to return to the factories but won't solve the underlying problems. Great. Especially because I still have the inefficient industry. Following the extension of the draft and the call-up of the previously exempted workers, many companies report problems in filling vacancies. Even armament industries are affected by this worker shortage, and production output has started to suffer as a result. Industry experts urge the government to find new sources of manpower, either to free up men currently in the military or to replace the workers drafted into the army. Yeah, full employment's become worker shortage. <laughs> Can I see how far through? Yes, I can. Okay, so now our intel is advanced enough that I can actually see how their progress is going. And actually, if we take a quick look at Germany and the intel ledger, our uh, civilian intel is actually really good because we have now... Have we now or are we doing that? I think that's what we're still undertaking. No, we haven't infiltrated civilian administration. That will give us a lot more information. We are currently trying to infiltrate the army, which will also give more information. Plus, you can see that just in general... Our infiltration efforts against Germany are just massively improving. And we've also started against Italy. 